Thank you for joining us at Mala Collective. Our goal is to educate you on mindfulness, meditation, and malas. My name is Britt Buntain, and this video series is going to just highlight everything that we discussed in the last meditation videos in terms of establishing a good seat, connecting to your breath, incorporating mindfulness into your meditation, and how to use your mala for japa meditation. So as I mentioned, having a good seat is really all about finding something to support you, uh, letting your bones relax so your muscles can relax, finding a forward tilt into your pelvis so that is the support through your low back as well, and using whatever props that you need to support your legs and your hips, whether that be putting something underneath your legs or sitting up on a chair or even sitting up straddle style on the bolsters with your legs going over each side. And that's particularly a great option if you have any aggravations or pinching pain in your knees. When it comes to your posture, you don't really have to worry about what it looks like so much. Just find out how, what feels good for you to sit and maintain a long meditation. Long can be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, it's up to you. When you connect into your breath, that's really what the attention or the focus for meditation is, is cultivating that awareness. And you can do it through those techniques that I mentioned earlier, where you have your hands on your ribs, feeling the movement and the filling of your lungs, having your hands palms up or face down and just noticing the rise and fall of your belly, your ribs and your chest. Or you can work with alternate nostril breathing where you use your thumb and pinky finger to close one nostril, inhale up one side, pause, block both nostrils, open up and exhale on that side. And then repeat the process moving up, over and out. And you can start by breathing in for four seconds, holding for two, exhaling for four, and then work your way up through five, six, seven, whatever works for you. If at any point that you get anxious, just take a pause, regain a natural breathing flow, and you can start again. So all this leads into incorporating a sense of mindfulness. As you may notice throughout this, that you are paying attention to your breath, but your mind tends to wander. So mindfulness is cultivating a sense of awareness and paying particular attention. And specifically with mindfulness, the key ingredient here is with a kindness, without judgment. So don't worry about where your thoughts tend to go or the nature of how they arise. Just be kind and inhale, come back. And you just use this, your breath, as a reminder of what your focus is. And you can go through meditation using your mala beads as a japa practice. You're simply moving your hands along each of the beads to incorporate your breath in a focus as well as uh, moving from mantra to repeating the mantra from bead to bead. And once you go around the mala and you get to the end of the guru bead, instead of going over it, just turn around, go back around. And you can do this once, twice, three times, whatever works for you really focus on not rushing it, try to be patient, and continue to come back to your inhales as a guide to move forward. Thank you so much for joining us in our video series at Mala Collective. Any more information that you need is on the website and our YouTube channel, not only on introduction to meditation, but also more information on each of the malas and where they're made from and what they, where they come from and the history of them. Thank you again.